DocNYC's Monday Memo delivers your documentary news of the week. Here are top stories for June 1st, 2020. Across the U.S., people are protesting in the streets over police violence. Filmmaker Stanley Nelson talked to IndieWire about what's happening. He said, our role as documentary filmmakers is to give it context, to give it some kind of history, to go a little bit deeper. Nelson is the founder of Firelight Media in Harlem that supports underrepresented filmmakers. He said, we really believe this is a time when filmmakers of color have a chance to tell their stories. Up in Toronto, the Hot Docs Festival is taking place online while theaters are closed. The film 499 explores the legacy of colonialism in Mexico with an innovative approach. It was one of the festival's jury prize winners. Hot Docs will screen nearly 150 features and shorts, geo-blocked to their local audience. If you live in Ontario, you can buy tickets to online screenings through June 24th. I recently interviewed several filmmakers about taking their premieres online. One of those films is The Dilemma of Desire, playing at Hot Docs. The film examines the clitoris in art and science. I said, whoa, that's what a clitoris looks like? I just got really upset. As a woman biologist, how is it possible that I do not know what my own biology looks like. Director Maria Finizzo did a remote Q&A at Hot Docs, as did nearly 70 other filmmakers. The director of The Dilemma of Desire, Maria Finizzo, and the artist and subject of the film, uh, Sophia Wallace, who created the Clitoracy Project. At Doc NYC, we're preparing to take our festival online in November. In the lead-up, we're holding online classes. You can enroll to watch them live or recorded. Our last class was on editing and finishing your film remotely. Editor Carla Gutierrez spoke about her collaboration with RBG's directors on a new biography of Julia Child. But I found, I mean, this is not my first long distance project. And, and I found that in every project, and even with this one, it's like at the beginning, you're building trust. You're building trust. With your directors, you're also building trust with the process itself. Coming up this week is a new class titled Social Impact While the World is Inside. It features documentary outreach experts from North America, South America, and Europe. Go to docnyc.net for more details. You can also watch our free weekly series, Friday Fix. I've been interviewing directors about their new projects and experiences during COVID-19. In the first episode, I spoke to filmmaker Lloyda Limball, whose film Through the Night was meant to premiere at the Tribeca Film Festival. She lives in the Bronx. Again, my community is the community that is being disproportionately impacted by this pandemic. So like the festival thing, I'm kind of like, yeah, I know it's a thing, but like who the hell has the time to grieve that or mourn that, right? When we are surrounded by so much tragedy and so much death at our doorsteps. On the next Friday Fix, I'll talk to Kirby Dick and Amy Ziering, the directors of On the Record, about women in hip-hop who accused Russell Simmons of rape. I don't have a stitch of violence in me. I would never hurt anybody. You're worried as a Black woman that you'll say something that will have consequences that you hadn't anticipated. He's the king of hip-hop. The Black community will hate my guts. I didn't want to let the culture down. I love the culture. On the Record debuted last week on the new platform HBO Max. Me Too advocate Tarana Burke is among the film's many supporters. Friday Fix will also feature Oscar-winning doc maker Fisher Stevens. His new film is called And We Go Green, about Formula E racing with electric cars. Like I say, I'm not an environmentalist, I'm a racing man, but I do worry about the environment. So if I can put both together, (laughs) fantastic. And We Go Green comes to Hulu this week. Also debuting this week on ESPN is Be Water, a biography of Bruce Lee. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Water can flow, 
or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Finally, the artist Christo died at age 84 at his home in New York City. He and his partner Jean-Claude were known for their epic installation projects using fabric. They collaborated on several documentaries with the Maisels brothers and others. His final film, Walking on Water, brought him to Doc NYC in 2018. You can read more in this week's Monday Memo. Subscribe at docnyc.net to get the weekly email. I love real things. Real things. Real things. Real wind, real dry, real wet, real fear, real joy. But Christo does not say. I don't see it. <laughs>